Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so I'm going to start this video off um, by kind of saying I'm not sure exactly how this one's going to play out. Uh, the whole uh, vlog that I'm working on here. Um, so bear with me on this one from the get-go. Um, but uh, I'm actually, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning right now, Eastern Time. Um, and I'm heading to uh, the airport. And... Um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get on a plane. I'm gonna fly to Texas, and I'm gonna go visit uh, a facility. But they've invited me out to do a hog hunt as well as come out and uh, you know visit and whatnot. So with that being said, um, there's a very large long box sitting next to me. Uh, that is um, that's a firearms case. So today is the first time I've ever gone on a plane with a firearm so I'm very very nervous right now um, more so because of time than actually getting on the plane because I, I took the proper steps and procedures to get everything kind of squared away and um, I did a bunch of reading called a bunch of people so hopefully everything goes smoothly I'm gonna try keeping you guys as up-to-date on everything as it's happening as I can um, I don't know if TSA is going to allow me to videotape while they're inspecting or anything like that, but um, that's my intent. And then uh, this is kind of going to be a parlay into the second part of this, or the, the second part of my trip, uh, the, the hunt and um, using thermal optics and hog hunting and whatnot. So with that being said, bear with me. Hopefully this all pans out okay and I make it from point A to point B and, and back safely. So um, yeah. Stay tuned, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so mildly painless. Uh, ended up basically just showing the lady in Cleveland my, my box, you know, the, the firearms case. She had me open it, she inspected it, everything looked good, locked it back up. She just sent it on the conveyor. Get to Dallas, lady come across a loudspeaker as I was walking up, called my name. Said, hey, I got your your bag. So I went. Up. She was standing like 30 feet from me when she said it. I walked over, freaking showed her my ID, and away we went. So, pretty painless operation. So now we're gonna wait for a ride and go hunt some hogs. All right. So I made the plane ride with no guns. Uh, everything worked out okay, and uh, that's where we're staying. This place is really, really nice. Got an in-ground pool. Um, I don't even know how many beds it's got. I think it sleeps like 12 people or more. But very, very nice facility. I'll try pan it around here. There's like, I think he said like 7,000 acres or something like that. It's freaking wild, man. But the place is absolutely gorgeous. The weather is perfect right now. So hopefully, uh, see some hogs later we'll see how this goes but uh man this place is nice all right so we're officially zeroing everybody in everybody's gonna be running thermals tonight that, that and if you look back there there's a long lane i was looking through one of the thermals and you could see deer walking across as we're back here shooting it <laughs> it's pretty wild but yeah hopefully we get some uh, hogs on film tonight all right so we're out here for uh we're at the short range. There's a few guys over at the long range right now, but as you can see, we got uh, got quite a bit of fun stuff out here to demo, T and E, try out, see what you like, see what's fun. There's some new stuff that's uh, coming to market shortly. It's out here that I got to play with. It's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, definitely a definitely a good time today. So we're having a little shooting competition, seeing if we can get closer at 25. So 
so it's the last morning here at the Selmark Ranch. Uh, you can see the beautiful, beautiful ranch home in the background there. This, it was absolutely gorgeous on the inside. Like I took a bunch of pictures and sent them to my wife. The place is absolutely amazing. Um, I've got a friend coming over to see me. Hopefully he's friendly. Hey buddy. So there's sheep and cows and all kinds of animals on the ranch here. And these guys help uh, help keep them safe. Oh, I know, it's so sad. No, don't jump. But uh, we uh, went out hog hunting last night again, second time. We spent, I think, a total of like 12 to 14 hours over two days hunting. And uh, we had two guys out of the five get hogs. So unfortunately, I wasn't one of them. Um, we did have uh, one encounter with them, but they were a little ways out. So my plan was to do like a timeline video of like straight through, hey, this is point or timeline one, two, three, moving on. But unfortunately with not actually getting a hog, um, what I decided to do was gear more towards uh, the optic that I was using and kind of show you guys what you know this area looks like and uh, some of the animals and some actual through footage on the optic. So hopefully I can make this all meld together but uh yeah that'll be what you see next here but i just kind of wanted to do a little close out of the actual ranch itself this place is gorgeous texas i love texas i've been down here twice now and i want to move down here so uh yeah next uh next thing you're gonna see is some footage through the optic and uh, i kind of talk you guys through that so stay with me and uh enjoy the rest of the video all right, guys, so I'm going to do voiceover for this so I can kind of talk you through. But this here is uh, this is a deer. It's about 100 yards out, um, and this is the white hot uh, setting. So I just kind of filtered through a couple of the settings on a couple different animals that we've seen. And we actually seen quite a bit, just not hogs. Uh, here you see this is actually a buck. If you look close, you can actually see the antlers at a couple points. Now, obviously, antlers aren't as uh, hot as the rest of the body but you can kind of make it out there, there are a few times, but this is the black hot. Um, but you can, in, in different settings, uh, different uh, color palettes help you be able to identify uh, the animals a little better. So I actually prefer the, the black or the white. There are a couple other ones, but uh, the black and the white for me uh, seem to allow me to be able to see the best. This is actually uh, where we were hog hunting and um, Hopefully I can keep the audio on here, but uh, you'll see them scatter here. Yeah, uh, we missed, all, all three of us, we missed. Um, I feel mildly defeated over this, but uh, it is what it is. So clarity here is, is pretty nice. Um, and this one, I'll be honest with you, if somebody can tell me what they think this is uh, in the comments section, I could not make out a, a definitive um, answer as to what this was. It could have been a hog. It never really turned sideways while I was watching, so I'm not sure. So the uh, the footage that I did earlier in the video about the shooting competition that we had, um, they, apparently I did okay because uh, your boy took first place. And uh, I also, my, my grand prize was a brand new uh, race mini thermal. So you're going to be getting a lot more footage of uh, this guy. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked about this. So flying out of Dallas, uh, again, super painless on checking in a weapon. I was super impressed, professional, no problems. Pop it open, check everything, make sure it's clear, no ammo in there, lock it up, we're good to go. So yeah, painless process for y'all. All right, so we're back at the house. Uh, just kind of want to close the video out, but I did want to show you a few uh, quick little detail things. Um, specifically, so Wraith Thermal and Wraith Night Vision. This is the, they're both the mini, um, just this is a thermal. And if you look, they are so, so close. They're almost identical. Like they're very, if you use a, a Wraith Mini Night Vision, it's, functionality on the thermal is identically the same like the only difference is literally you're looking through at 
uh, thermal versus you know heat signature versus a uh, picture that's you know illuminated. So uh, optic optically, as far as like uh, your reticles and your colors and all that, completely the same. Functionality as far as the menus and in uh, selecting and zeroing, completely the same. So if you've used one of these, this is going to be a no-brainer. Um, I will tell you though. <laughs> I'm going with thermal from now on. This this is freaking money. Like I absolutely love this thing. Um, I want another one now. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, if you if you're looking to get into the thermal game, uh, the MSRP on this on their website is 2,099. So coming in at a very very um, at least in the thermal realm affordable price range. Now obviously if you're not able to go that route as I wasn't, uh, this is what I opted for was the night vision version but uh still able to do a lot of uh, night hunting with it and actually i my intent is to have my monocular that i have mounted on my uh, helmet on my left eye for scanning purposes and identification and then have this on my gun so i can swap back and forth but uh yeah to close out the trip itself had an absolute blast like texas i freaking love going down there um i'm already talking to a couple buddies about trying to make a trip down and you know plans and setting stuff up for the next time um but uh we had an absolute absolute blast the the site mark team just knocked it out of the park food was great the freaking accommodations were insanely good um went out you know we weren't able to go out and and hunt in the in the evenings and night and uh you know we shot dude we shot all freaking day like we went out just taking turns shooting and trying out different stuff you know we had the competition like it was so much fun so uh my literally my only complaints are number one i didn't get a hog and number two i wish it was longer because i was having such a good time um and maybe be able to take my wife with me next time but uh yeah absolute blast of a time um i i can't wait uh, hopefully i get to go again but uh yeah hope you guys like the video um i did have to do a little voiceover just because i wanted to be able to kind of give you some insight of what was going on uh when you're looking through the optic on the on the um you know when it's recording and whatnot so uh just for reference sake i don't know if the audio is gonna hold true um being able to hear the audio from the optic and myself talking but it does record uh video and audio both so nice to be able to hear your shot hear yourself talk hear yourself tell your buddies that you're shooting with yeah we didn't hit anything because that's that's how it went for me so um but hopefully you guys liked the video hopefully it was insightful um if you did like it hit the hit the uh like for me and if you want to follow along i am going to be doing some more content with this i've got a couple um other items that uh, i'm gonna be doing videos on so if you want to stick around i appreciate it hit the subscribe button um if you got questions comments throw them up and as always, stay tuned, stay tactical, and I'll see you guys next time.